Hello guys, thanks for joining me today in this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate quickly uh, the project we will be building, which is a peer-to-peer -peer lending system. Now, what do we call a peer-to-peer -peer lending system? Uh, it is a system where you practice lending money to individuals or business through an online, uh, online service, right? Uh, it's more similar to a friend going to uh, borrow money from another friend but the business concept here with peer-to-peer -peer lending system is that you have two people one being the borrower and then one being the investor so the investor has money to spend or to invest and the borrower needs money to probably pay off a student loan or uh, buy a house or just for whatever need they may be in need of so the system brings these two people together this is uh, a simple infographic that actually explains the entirety of uh, a peer-to-peer -peer lending system so both the investor and the uh, the borrower are all users of the the, the platform and they they do have different requirements and go through different uh, registration processes. So as the borrower, you register and then indicate the amount you need for whatever project it is, whether for paying student loans. And the lender, which is also the investor, will now you know browse through the loan listings and they can choose to fund or entirely pay off the loan and each loan listing has uh, details regards to grading of the loan and whatever related information that an investor may need to make an informed decision as to whether to invest or fund a particular loan so let's go back to our website and here we have the sign in the administrator panel which is really simple we'll get into that the uh, started uh, pages about us so uh, with the browse uh, borrow uh, what is happening here okay so this is where we start as a as a borrower so you can first check your rates I think I have a very slow connection today but uh, I hope so this is a page we have as a borrower so let's try to register for an account or apply for a loan so five thousand uh, dollars for debt consolidation or let's pay off a student loan and the name john smith and the date of birth two thousand new street and the state currently this website is just a us based uh, service so um, but the project we will be building is going to be for the global market so all these uh, there are a lot of changes we are going to do to the workflow so let's choose that and then the phone number here so monthly housing payments how much the user pay monthly as uh, rent employment status so employed annual income seventy five thousand, and this is optional and let's provide an email i'll quickly grab uh, a disposable email here so we could just use this to uh, test our system and our password i'll enter just a simple password here now this may fail because i have not configured the the send grade sending email um, just for test purposes so let's just try this okay so now we go to the next step which is you know the, your social security so let's try that social security i think how many okay nine all right let's still not up one two three four five six seven eight nine okay this should be it now our credit score 350 
Now we check rates. And based on the information computed by the borrower, the system will, you know, work out the loan amount and other uh, corresponding details. So because uh, for the uh, because of the demo, I have not configured this. So the loan amount would have been here. And this is the, uh, the, the interest rate and the monthly payment will also show there. So the borrower will now decide which of the terms. So you can just create uh, the 12, uh, 12 months uh, loan term, five months loan term, whatever term it is. So the borrower will now choose which loan to go for. So let's go for this loan and then confirm this loan, even though we don't see any amount. And as a requirement, you now need to take uh, additional details of the borrower. So home phone, work phone, employer name. So let's let's put this uh, Amazon and Amazon phone number. We put that occupation, retail service and month of start employment. So 2000 and social security again so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay why all right so work phone is also required and then we have to continue and here will be the loan agreement which is supposed to show but unfortunately that's not working now but we'll fix that later so you continue and you connect to the user's bank account, which uh, we will work. We will talk about other possibilities, but for the sake of this demonstration, it is uh, integrated with Play. So, agree and continue. But I have not configured this with Play, so that's why we're getting this error. But this is the final stage of the loan. So this was supposed to take us to the the dashboard. So let's let's see. Let's go to our dashboard because we couldn't complete the, the loan process. And let's check our email. Yes, so I have we, we there is an email confirmation here to confirm the email. So let's go back to our dashboard. John has to uh, to confirm email. So let's confirm our email now. An email is confirmed. Let's go back. Refresh. Okay, so now email confirmation is done. But let's check. Let's look around. So settings is pretty simple. Uh, basic information account info email and password and uh, other basic details of the user and logout transaction history so currently there are no transactions here these are documents that will be required of john uh, to perform kyc verification and here to apply for a loan the process we already did so as a login user these fields will automatically be pre-populated so let's go back and here to make payment if john has uh, a loan so to repay this loan on the base on the loan terms yes so it is pretty simple dashboard um so let's log out and we can check with a, a demo investor how it, the demo investor account also look like so as an investor this is a dashboard for drew so the amount value the value of uh, uh, drew's investment is here you can add funds and it's the same process so can also add a new bank account and this is uh, by in, uh, third party integrations and also can withdraw and these are Drew's investments. That is uh, Drew invested $100 in uh, a loan of 15,000 and that is uh, a loan term 30, uh, 36 months. And Drew can also browse the available loan requests but, uh, made by uh, borrowers. So these are loans. So if Drew 
think this loan is worth to invest. So the loan has a rating of B and the borrower's location, investment fee. This is charged by the platform. So this is how the platform is making money. So if you want to invest, so uh, in this loan, Drew has an available balance of 2,150. So let's quickly find this home improvement loan. So if Drew, Drew wants to invest um, $2,000, let's do that. So let's fund this loan. So you are about to invest a total of $2,000 in one loan. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And it's successful. $2,000 has been invested in this loan. Now, if you check here, there is a pending loan that you has invested in. So the pending investment is here. And we go to transaction history. Will we see something here? Not yet. So we log out. Okay, let's quickly check. So it's pretty the same format for the investor. Not much details here, but in the course of this tutorial, we will extend it and add uh, more features so that uh, our online lending system will uh, be an industry standard. So let's log out and check with the administrator what we have in the administrator panel. As it's loading, I really have a very slow collection, uh, uh, internet connection today, but I, I hope we, are, we, we manage. So as this is loading, okay, so I think it's almost done. All right, so this is the administrator. That is also pretty basic. And here you have the number of users out of the 23 users, eight are investors. Uh, the loans, two loans, uh, six investments, repayments, three. And these are other information, you know, pending withdrawals and uh, loans that require action. So this is a, uh, these are loans that require actions. And it's pretty basic information. And let's check why these require actions. Okay. Okay. These are pending documents uh, verification and submit a listing. So let's go to investments. So as you can see here, this is the investment that was sent by Drew, our test investor. So Drew has invested 2000. So in this case, administrator is supposed to, you know, check this and then review accordingly. And here are the details of loans. We can check the the loans that are listed currently and we can equally manage them and funded loans and these are the users investors so drew is here and our borrowers withdrawals page and transactions page so details of all the transactions that has you know happened on our peer-to-peer -peer lending system so that is pretty much it and so uh i'll share this link in the video description and here it details out how the peer-to-peer -peer lending system works the borrower registers from a, a, for an account by supplying their personal details investor also equally do same and each of these users have to go to uh, an onboarding process that is uh, KYC, know your customer. And this is to comply with regulations because um, it's a financial business and uh, such an industry as this is heavily regulated by financial authorities. So users who onboard any financial platform should thoroughly go through this onboarding process. And this helps to prevent fraud and money laundering and other you know transactions that are banned uh, in the sa uh, sanctions regime so when they've both you know um 
registered, you can institute a grading system where you grade transactions or users from A to F, being that a lot of factors may be put in consideration as to the grading system, uh, especially uh, countries, uh, users that are from high risk countries definitely will have a high um, a low rating or uh, people with a low credit score and what have you so the, the 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 factors that you put in place in grading depends solely on the company or you as a business so this is very important so if an investor finds a loan and wants to invest they can either invest a full amount or just uh, part of their amount they they are willing to invest in the loan and in this case we will call it a loan ticket so uh this uh blog post details out the basic uh, overview of what a, a peer-to-peer lending a platform is and how it works and in here, I had already uh, structured the model, um, the data model we'll be implementing. I will also share a link to that. So we have the nominee, account types, account statement, payment method, uh, transaction type, the investor details, and what have you. So I've carefully detailed this out and we will be building all these models from scratch. So if you are happy to go on this journey with me, but before we, we finish up with this video, I'll quickly, uh, so these are the data models we have here. So I it's just few models I have. So this is the bank account with these fields, um, the card model, investment with these fields, the loan, loan grade, monthly payments, team member, transaction, and US state. So even though currently this is the structure of this project, we will be extending on it and then uh, finally come up with a more revised and uh, advanced peer-to-peer uh, -peer lending system than this one. This is pretty basic. It was just a conceptual idea that I, I had and then I decided to uh, build up upon that. So in this video, I'm really excited that you're joining me on this journey and we're going to turn this project into an amazing one. And I hope you enjoy it with me as we proceed. Thank you.